this is code.org and this thing looks strange. Okay, <laughs> fix the problem. This program should only shake the creature when the mouse is pressed and only show directions when the mouse is not pressed. Okay, so the directions, the words. All right, do this. Ch change the code so that the creature only shakes when the mouse is pressed. Change the code so directions, press the mouse to shake the creature, only shows when the user is not pressing the mouse. Okay, so the creature shakes when I'm pressing the mouse. Let's start there. Let me reset that. That's going to drive me crazy. All right, so if something is occurring, right away I know I need an if statement, because if it is occurring, then we want the creature to shake. What is making that creature shake? What's making it go back and forth? Well, keep in mind the draw loop runs 30 times a second. And so right here, creature.rotation is going to be equal to a random number, negative 5 to 5. So when we start, it's equal to 0. Negative 5 is, negative 5 would be like this. Negative 5 would be this way. Positive 5 is this way. So it's changing up the creature's rotation randomly 30 times a second to any number between negative 5 and 5. So yeah, it looks like it's moving up and then rotating a bit. So, but we want that to only be true if a condition is met. What's the condition? If the mouse is down. So let me go to my world and if mouse down, did it say went down or down? While the mouse is pressed. So I would use mouse down because if mouse went down, it would only shake for a microsecond when we click the mouse. We would have to keep clicking it. But this is just mouse down. If the mouse is down, the creature should shake. So let me drag the creature shaking code and mouse down. Ah, creepy weird thing moving. Okay, now the next issue, I'm going to release my mouse, but the instructions are here. I'm going to press it and the instructions are there. Okay, so let's double check this. Change the code to so that the directions press the mouse to shake creature only show when the user is not pressing the mouse. So if I'm pressing the mouse, these things need to go bye-bye. How can I do that? Well, if I'm pressing the mouse, the creature shakes. Else, otherwise, the directions show. So it's always one or the other. And an if-else statement is always one or the other. To add an else, I can just click this plus thing, my bobber. There it goes, right? And then, I'll reset that. I'm going to go ahead and drag whatever code was making those directions. Well, here's the directions. Keep in mind, though, this makes the directions black and this makes the text 40. So the reason that happens is we're telling the computer before we write the text what it needs to be. If I pull that up here, look how tiny it is because code always runs in order. So first we say, hey, computer, you're about to make something with uh, black paint. Get the color black. Text size is 40. And the computer says, OK, black paint. I'm going to make text size 40. Now draw the text. If it was opposite, if I drag it above this, it just writes the text and says, what's going to be black? What's going to be a text size of 40? Because it already wrote it out. So we need all of this in our if. And now, just to be clear here, in an if statement, one section must run always, but only one. They could never both run. So either if mouse down, I'm asking the computer a question. Hey, computer, is the mouse currently down? The computer can only respond true or false. So let's say I'm currently holding the left button down. It says true. Okay, it's true, then let's get a random number for the rotation. We never would run the else because this was true. We skip the rest, we hit the bottom, we go back to the top, we draw the sprite with that new randomish rotation, and then we check again if the mouse is down 30 times a second, 30 times a second, which makes it look like it's wobbling. Now, let's say the mouse is false, right? So, hey, computer, is the mouse left button down? False. I'm not holding down any button. If this is false, this would never run. It can't. But if false, else, so if true, otherwise run this. So now the mouse button's not down, so the else absolutely must run. Always, always, always in this situation, either the if chunk runs or the else. I'm not holding the mouse down, the else runs. It creates our directions, like it asks us to do. When the mouse isn't down, show directions. Mouse isn't down, directions. Mouse down, shake, 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 shake. Mouse up. Awesome. Onward.